Perfect. So then we are complete, I guess. So welcome everyone to our very first Flower Summit 2021. I'm very happy to see you all here in this uh, meeting and also some people on um, YouTube on the live stream. My name is Maria Berner. I'm a physicist and started some years ago working in the AI um, part. And since last year, I started working in the federated learning um, research direction and production. And yeah, today I would like to show you what uh, you will see today here in this great flower summit. And it's um, our pleasure to show recent federated learning academia research results and also industry applications. And I'm very happy also to hear or listen to these great um, keynote talks um, that we will have today. Um, so let's first have a little introduction to federated learning. Um, as you know, federated learning was introduced in 2017 and we just counted the numbers of, of papers of federated learning in, on archive, which uh, was 24 uh, papers and increased exponentially um, over the last years. So now we have like last year, 635 papers of um, federated learning, which is quite impressive. And also over the time, we have some great tools to realize federated learning um, tools or uh, workloads. Um, for example, we have dedicated federated learning toolkits as PySift or Leaf. And we also have some framework with built-in support like TensorFlow or Pedal FL. And we were missing a little bit the production side of federated learning. So we were thinking to create Flower um, and Flower is now complementary to the other frameworks, which allows federated learning bringing into production. And um, Flower is um, compatible to other machine learning frameworks as PyTorch, TensorFlow, MXNet. And we are also preparing some um, additional examples um, now. So stay tuned for the next time, which what you will see with um, which um, additional examples. And yeah, why do we have this compatibility to other machine learning frameworks? Um, we know that you put a lot of sweat and tears into your machine learning um, pipelines and, and workloads. And so we wanted to use these existing, already existing machine learning workloads and just run a federated. And so this you can realize with a flower. So there is no need to learn um, any new federated learning toolkit when you switch the machine learning frameworks and uh, also Flower is very easy to, um, to be used. So we have our very short example, 20 lines of code running um, federated learning, which you see on the right side. So normally federated learning is quite complex, but with Flower, it is easy to use and allows you to concentrate on your machine learning, um, centralized machine learning part. And you just need a few information about federated learning and then run your centralized machine learning workload federated. However, also for researchers being concentrated on federated learning and want to have some more sophisticated stuff, they can use Flower because it's quite flexible and uh, you can adjust many things. So it serves both the beginners and also the advanced users. Based on Flower, we also have some research done in the case of federated learning. And we are very proud to show you that the carbon footprint, for example, with federated learning is reduced in comparison to centralized AI learning, um, which is a very great research result in federated learning, especially. Um, we also could show the heterogeneity possibilities offering offered by Flower. And also we run a whole federated learning workload for over 14 days, very stable. And we also connected 10,000 clients within the federated learning frameworks or workload, which um, was really good working and very stable over the time and during this process. So yes, also the whole results and research results are um, presented in the papers on the right. And we will also see some uh, more details about these research results later in this summit today. So I'm very excited about all the talks that we will hear today, um, but also some talks from the industry users and also other talks about federated learning. Over the last years, um, Flow was quite successful as you see here on the GitHub stars. So we started 
last years from the zero GitHub stars. And now we have like 353 GitHub stars over one year, which is quite impressive. And the users here are coming from the industry, but also from the research or academia. And yeah, so let's see what we will hear today. So um, first of all, we will have a little introduction to the Flower Arm platform and also to the keynote speaker that we have just after my talk introduction. And then we will have a little short uh, break and afterwards going first into some research results about Flower and speech brain. And then uh, we will present some industry applications um, about on-device AI and federated learning. At the end of the first session, we will have some code tutorial from Centralized to Federated um, with Flower. So I'm quite excited about these talks. So now I hand over to uh, Nicholas Lane, introducing our very first um, keynote speaker. Thanks. <laughs> 